we started out with $2,000. Uh, that's all we've ever put in the business. Um, we bought a few lights, some paint. I built four shelves and I bought, I don't know, a couple hundred books. And the first week we turned a profit and have turned a profit ever since. My name is Adair Laurel Caffarella and I run a mail order business uh, of metaphysical spiritual products. Well, it started in East Hampton. I was not working with two children with my partner, Tamarin. That business was at the time called Ab Is, which is the heart of wisdom. We stuck with Abyss for a while till we did a couple trade shows and we had a lot of religious churches come up to us wanting to buy our products, but the name Abyss was a little caustic. So, <laughs> so we, we became Azure Green, um, which is a much softer name. The story of our business is in fact a story of integrating all aspects of our lives. So I never originally set out thinking that I would have a profession that matched my private interests, as a lot of people don't. They figure those are two separate things they're going to do. So I had a private interest in spiritual matters ever since I was a kid. So I sort of had a natural in interest in being able to explore that further in my adulthood. And the path I chose for that was what's called witchcraft because it really is open-ended enough that you can design your own spiritual tradition. We were in East Hampton and the store grew way too small when we started mail order. So we went to look for another place and we found one in Middlefield. We found a house that was big enough for us to run a mail order business out of. There's bins, there's just product in bins. We, we fill the bins every couple of days with product and we pull from them. We sold last year 1.7 million items. This year it looks like I'll sell two. So fast in, fast out. We got into it because we're both witches. But we went around and looked in the stores and we said, what are people not offering that other people might want? One of the things that always was fun from the store onwards is that people would find in our products an awful lot of personal epiphany. It would tie into events or actions, insights that came up for them. And that is the essence of offering spiritual products. You're trying to have something that links the psyche with the physical world and connects you know, the, the inner and the outer part of yourself. When we first moved here, we were only Adair and I and one employee working out of the basement of a, a regular house. And it has grown so that we had to add on addition this way to our house, we had to add on that way to our house, and we have now added 20 additional people on top of that. We have a phone staff that, that is here only a fairly short time. I mean, we say 8.30 to 5, 8.30 to 4 on Friday, because everybody wants to leave. <laughs> Well, we have all types of faiths selling us stuff as well as buying stuff. We have people that, that are uh, Sikhs who are selling us and buying products. We have uh, Christians. We have churches. Uh, we have all types of religion. We have Buddhist religions and, and Baha'i faith religion. We have a philosophy that we do everything uh, as local as we can get it and we move out from there. So all our employment, all of our products, if I can find someone in town that can do it, that's where I go. If it's, you know, a 10 mile radius, a 25 mile radius, um, we do well over half of our buying from Massachusetts. Just a philosophy. So we've been in this town, I don't know, since 91. And uh, we were asked by certain, some people in the town if we could expand if we would think of it they all people want jobs it's a small town um, so in our style we come up with a building uh, and we're going to have the business in it and we'll have a daycare for 40 a kitchen that can feed 50 the building will be LEED certified uh, geothermal so it will be uh, energy efficient um, state-of-the-art building um, sort of wild <laughs> With a pyramid, uh, correct angle like the Pyramid of Giza, correct alignment. Um, and we're going to use it as a selling campaign that we charge our product in a pyramid. Um, so it'll be, it'll be a journey. In life, 
everything should mesh. We feel that people should be at home everywhere they go. They should, uh, they should have fun. They should enjoy themselves. If it's not something they want to be doing, they should walk away. Go away that day, go away that week. Uh, it, it is not, you know, I, I really don't believe that people should have a life of, you know, if it's not fun, if, if you're not here on a spiritual quest, on a journey, and you're, it, you really shouldn't be doing it.